When it comes to buying plugins, I think Warren Buffett said it best. He says, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. So in the spirit of Warren Buffett and what he calls value investing, we'll go over my top picks by category. So instead of looking at 100 delay plugins, 100 EQ plugins, 100 saturation plugins, you can just choose from the three or four good ones listed here. All the plugins are linked below. So if you want to support the Soul State YouTube channel, use those links. Here are my top three picks because I don't want to waste your time. Um, I'm in incognito because I actually bought this already. The first one is this Loop Cloud deal. It's three months of samples for $3 and you get to pick all the samples as well, which is really cool. It's not some sample pack you'll never use. Also comes with a free plugin that's between 45 to $90, depending on how you look at it. Another pick of my top three is the FabFilter Pro Q. Uh, it's just the easiest to use, highest quality digital EQ. If you need to get very particular about EQing your bass on mastering, you can use this in linear phase mode. If you need to just notch out a few frequencies um, of an annoying hi-hat. You can do that with dynamic EQ on this plugin. And if you don't have Soothe, this can basically be Soothe. It just takes a lot more time to set up. And my third pick is the Sound Toys Effect Track. I initially got it and thought I wouldn't like it because you have to load all the plugins in this effect track for them to work. But I actually really like it because you can go into the effect track and you can pull up um, your own racks that you've saved so it's really, really easy to pull up an effect chain you like, and it's really, really easy to move them in and out. You get almost all the plugins in the full bundle for about $100 less, and you get the really important plugins that everybody likes, like Decapitator and Echo Boy. So that's like $120 of plugins alone. Next up, sidechain plugins. So the first one is Track Spacer. Think of it like smart ducking. It can duck a particular frequency, for example, you can have 3K on the vocal, duck 3K on the snare. Then we have Gatekeeper, which allows you to do rhythmic style gating effects, and it allows you to do sidechain. Uh, the thing is it's not multiband, which is where the next plugin comes in, Volume Shaper. This allows for multiband ducking, uh, which can be very helpful if you want to just duck the low frequencies under 300 Hertz, for instance, to just make a little bit more room um, for the kick drum. Okay, so here's an example of Track Spacer and we're having the kick drum duck the top drums. So we get a little more click from the kick. We can also add some rhythmic gating using Gatekeeper to those drums. Or we can just use Gatekeeper as a traditional sidechain. If we want to get rid of just the lows on the synth, but we want to keep the highs clear, we can use Shaper Box to do that. And what we're doing is we're just ducking the low frequencies under about 500 hertz. Next up, we have Diamond EQ by Luca Predolese and uh, Acoustica Audio. Um, it's a great tonal EQ. Slap it on your master bus, twist the knobs a little bit and see if it adjusts the tone in a nice way. The high mids and high frequencies are really nice. You can push them really far without it getting harsh. But as amazing as this plugin sounds, it's equally amazing at destroying your CPU, which is actually the only reason I don't buy more Acoustica plugins. Hey, down. Q3, we already talked about that. Then this Mag EQ4, so it says 229, but uh, you should be able to get it for 29. They're, they have a discount code. It's most known for its airband, so you throw this up to 40K um, and you boost some air. Um, people use it on vocals, the master, it's just a super common trick. the Diamond EQ and the Mag EQ are very simple. They're the exact opposite of uh, the Pro Q3 where you, you will get technical with the Pro Q3. That's what it's good at. But the, uh, the Diamond 
is like a super wide type of EQ, super wide bands. And then the mag is a little bit more specific, but both of them are, are much more um, tonal than precise. And the last thing I'd put in the EQ category is Soothe 2. Um, we've seen this a lot. Disclosure uses one a bunch. I mean, at 159, it definitely hurts a little bit, but uh, I'm happy with the purchase. Okay, vocals. Soothe is really good at this. It's basically a smart dynamic EQ. So with Pro Q3, you have to go in, you have to find the frequency and you have to cut it out. With Soothe, you just kind of tell, tell Soothe the area that that annoying frequency is in and then you can control how much Soothe reduces that annoying frequency. Um, really helpful. We have Melodyne and we have Autotune. Autotune is real time. Melodyne, you have to send the vocal into Melodyne and then you can edit it. Personally, I like Melodyne because you can pitch each note of the vocal exactly how you want. Whereas with Autotune, you can tell them what notes you want. You can tell it how much you want it to sort of quantize that, um, but it's just not as precise. So, you know, if you're doing rap and you're working with vocalists and you want to make them feel comfortable, Autotune might be great. If you're more a producer, you just want to edit the vocal to be as nice as possible. I go with Melodyne, you can also go both. Don't worry about me, don't worry about me, don't worry about me, don't worry about me, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. So Little Alter Boy. This is actually one of the plugins that's missing from the Sound Toys Effect bundle that I mentioned. It's probably the pitch and form and shifting plugin I see used more often than any other plugin. Ableton can do both of these things, but at least with Ableton 10, this is just easier. So for 39 bucks, uh, definitely a good deal. Okay, with saturation, there's really just two that I wanna highlight. Um, I like both of them because they have dry wet controls, so you can get really crazy and then you can back it off, which is really nice to just nail that tone. First up, we have FabVolter Saturn 2. I think it's actually a big step up from Saturn 1 uh, because it has linear phase mode, which is quite important if you're doing um, distortion in the low end. Also, the cool thing about Saturn is you have so many different types of distortion. You have tube, tape, amp, saturation, transformers, um, effects. This offers so much and you can split it up into so many bands. What it is, is it's really useful and it also sounds really good. For someone that really wants to dial in a sound, um, this is probably the most precise you can get with the distortion. Hip down. Other option is Sound Toys Decapitator. Again, that's included in the um, Sound Toys FX bundle, which is about 130. It emulates five different distortion units uh, shown in the bottom here. And the thing is you mix the dry wet in. Disclosure did a really good example of this. Decapitator. So I'm really driving that, but I've only got it on half. If I turn it up. I change the channel on you. I'm on it. I like the lace on you. Share about it. Soft lips, soft skin, smooth. Yeah, crazy. For $15, this sounds like a $50 tape plug-in minimum. It, it glues things together the way you want it to. Uh, you can get saturation out of it. Way underpriced, way underrated. It's just such a good deal for 15 bucks. Don't worry about me. 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 If you want to get a new tape plugin, um, I would get this one for sure. Soft tube tape. I don't own this plugin. Um, I've heard good things. Kind of just wanted to give it a mention. J37, I think this is probably one of the most popular ones we see everywhere. Kenny Beats uses it all the time to just get that lo fi wobble. Okay, compressors. The 1176. Any version of it, it doesn't have to be the Waves one. The 1176 is just a really nice compressor. You can use it on drums and you can use it on vocals. Um, we saw Wolfgang Gardner using it recently in one of our videos for some great drum pumping. It's 
So yeah, night and day difference there. Uh, we saw Disclosure using this on vocals for their album Energy. It's just a very natural sounding plugin. The CLA 2A is another uh, soft leveling type of compressor. You can also just go with the ADHD leveling tool because it's a super good deal at $0.00. does add a bit of noise, but uh, Andrew Huang uses this one. It's good. For multiband compressors, if you don't know what you're doing, they're probably going to cause more problems than they solve. And if you have to spend money to cause more problems, that's not a good combination. The FabFilter Pro MB is the best all-arounder. All, all the FabFilter products are good. We all know that. I don't really have to say anything else about this. Leapwing Audio Dyn 1. Let's just look at the testimonials. It's all famous mix engineers that use this. Um, it sounds really good. It destroys your CPU. If they could get the CPU down on this, I might buy it. Uh, the last one is probably the most beginner friendly. I'd almost put this in a different category. The other ones you're really, you can really reshape the mix and the transients in uh, dangerous ways. Whereas the S73, you, you can use it as a tool to do a particular thing. For example, adding a little bit more clarity on the vocals, taking out some rumble. Disclosure uses this on the master all the time. This also happens to be the best priced at $37. So I use it, I like it probably a good place to start. Okay, for some special flavor, I'd recommend you check out the Goodhertz Wolf Compressor. It's modeled after a uh, Boss 303. Uh, I've seen Bad Snacks use it. RAC is a big fan of uh, this company. This plugin from Goodhertz and the Faraday Limiter from Goodhertz are very much the anti-digital of plugins, as in they're just all about character. Everybody loves the RC20, Kenny Beats, Disclosure, Decap. Oh, got DJ Zinc here. Definitely worth checking out. And I just found this cool new plugin, the uh, SP950. It sounds like a SP1200. Super, super crunchy. A little bit different than the other big crushes out there. Can yield some cool sounds for sure. For music theory stuff, buy an Ableton push or download Scalar. For 50 bucks, it just teaches you so much. You can go in and you can find uh, chord progressions, common chord progressions. So you can sort by artist, you can sort by genre, and you can find common chord progressions. Um, I think it's a, a cool way to get unstuck and it's a nice way to learn a bit about music theory and chord progressions. Um, if you haven't been classically taught as a pianist. There's really two plugins that I would recommend you check out. Um, there is Big Kick, um, which is awesome at $25, just totally no brainer. Um, and there is Kick 2, which is 40 bucks, so a little bit more. Um, I personally own Kick 2. You can get very, very, very detailed with the click and the length and the pitch. It's definitely everything you'd ever want when you're designing a kick drum. Big Kick is the one Disclosure uses. I think either of these are awesome options for designing a kick drum. For synths, there's a few worth checking out. Faceplant, um, which is becoming really popular and has a lot of interesting people involved. Rob Swire of Knife Party did some presets. I know Kill the Noises into this. I've seen Andrew Huang using it. It looks a bit complex on the surface, but uh, it's actually fairly user-friendly. The V Collection by Arturia, if you really want that old school feel, might be a cool way for you to go. 
Um, it just comes with so many different synthesizers. Uh, people have very mixed reviews about it. Some people love it, some people hate it. So, um, but you get a boatload of synths, like so many synths for $250. It's just ridiculous. The Model 72 synth, which is a Moog emulation by Softube, who generally does good stuff. And you have the Native Instruments Monarch. They're both a pretty similar Moog monophonic sound. Just having a really powerful mono synth is uh, really important. Personally, I have Monarch, I'm super happy with it. Okay, then we have the innovative plugins. Uh, the first innovative plugin is Sound Theory Goldfoss for $130 instead of $200. Goldfoss is basically um, a smart EQ. It just adds like movement to your sounds and it sounds good. It can sort of control where you want more brightness or you want more movement. It can tame out annoying frequencies. With this one, you just should download the demo. Um, and if you like it, now is a good time to pick it up. I've seen Decap using it. I've seen Jaws using it, and Oliver using it. Everyone that uses it seems to really, really like it. Uh, then we have Texture by Devious Machines. This is similar to Erosion and Ableton, where you can add noise on top of uh, any signal, except you get way more control over the ADSR and the noise type with Texture. A lot of the dubstep guys like this. And then lastly, we have uh, XO by Excellent Audio, who are the same people that make RC20. It sorts your drum samples and puts them in a similar space. So you can quickly find samples that are like other samples, um, which I think is really cool if you're lazy and you don't want to organize all your samples. Uh, in the spirit of disclosure, just a final few to mention, uh, we have the Oxford Inflator. I downloaded the demo. I think it's very subtle. You, you might be able to get like 2%, 3% more out, out of a mix with it. Disclosure uses it and likes it. Oliver uses it and likes it. Maybe there's something I'm missing, uh, but I didn't buy this one. Jump Dopamine uh, is another plugin that uh, we see Disclosure use all the time on vocals to enhance them without them being harsh. Now it's uh, 70 pounds, which I'm guessing is around 100 bucks US um, instead of 130, which is probably about 150. If you don't want to spend $100, you can get something similar, Type A by Audio Thing. It's, it's literally based on the same principle of the Dolby tape machine. If dopamine was cheaper, I would probably pick it up, but for now I have Type A. Remember, great ideas are what great music is based on. The plugins just help enhance those ideas. All right, thanks for watching. Happy Black Friday. And if you want to support this channel, please use the links in the description. It really, really helps. Thanks.